Nobody can take away memories. I have my special goggles on. <laughs> He's digging deep right now. It's hard. He's 72 years old. He's doing good. I'm proud of him. Believe in yourself. You have to believe. We are still on the same hunt. <laughs> yeah. It may look like it's uh, two months later, but it's still the same hunt. It's our third uh, morning out. It's about 6.30, quarter to seven right now. And we're up in higher elevations again. We don't know what to expect today. Greg's trying to see if you can actually see the, the animals that we've seen yesterday. The sheep that were in this drainage yesterday are not here anymore. I just suspect that they went up and over top of this ridge. And so it's gonna be a challenge for sure today. Uh, I have my special goggles on. You should be good to go. I'm ready. Safety first. Exactly. You never know when a snowflake's gonna hit in the eye. Yeah, you don't you don't anticipate that they should be hitting in the eye in August, but uh, no kidding. What we're dealing with is obviously white animals and white mountains. So to pick them out and and under these conditions in this environment, it's going to be somewhat difficult. He's working hard. He's taking his time to get through this rocky. Obviously, it's full of snow and it's slippery, so he's got to be a little more careful. So he's doing his part. I got to do my part, and that's make sure that. We don't walk past anything that we haven't got to take a look at. If we don't get a decent ram, then it's on me because he's pulling his weight, so I gotta pull mine. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of uh, for him to hang out with his dad at this age and stage of the game. I truly appreciate it and I love it. You know, um, it's kind of sentimental. I get to do this with my son. Couldn't ask for anything better or anything more. See them, Dave? I'm just watching a group of four rams. Two of the rams are legal. One is tipped out and he's way above the bridge of the nose. You know, he's a beautiful, you know, kind of your picture perfect tipped out ram. And the other one is broomed off, broomed off heavy. He's a good solid ram. I like that broomed ram. Personally, I want to check out the rest of this block, make sure that we're getting the best ram. Have we seen all the rams that there is? That's what I want to do. I'm going to go back and give Dad the information and really let him make the decision. What do you think? I would like to see everything that's here. Oh, wow. Well, let's keep moving. We know these guys are here. Yeah. So if we're good to keep going, we can always come back on them. Yeah. I'll do whatever it takes. I mean, if that means that we want to move on and check the rest of this ridge out, because we've only just come over this ridge and seen those four right there. I like your style. Get my goggles on. All right. You ready? Let's do it. I guess we're gonna keep going. Maybe I won't give him a hard time about his goggles anymore. I still wanna check out another basin up here, so I'll just meet Dad. He's picking his way here. Sheep tracks right here. Came out of that bowl this morning, headed into this one. Here's a lamb, one really young ram. I've taken a look into every basin. I think the best rams that I've seen were those two rams, broomed off one and the long tipped out ram. I just gotta find my dad now, because I've been kind of running around basin to basin, so he's up on the top somewhere. I just have to find him. Did you see much over there? Probably 15 sheep, but most of them are rams but they're all sublegal. We're still, you know, three or four miles away and we're crossing through this rubble and it's gonna take a bit of time to get back over that way. You're looking at four hours to get onto those sheep. It all depends on you. Might be five, so let's go. I'm here to hunt. This is all part of the hunt. If you have to take your time, you take your time. If you uh, can keep up with the young lad, good luck. <laughs> You don't want to know. Just keep going until I tell you to stop. Yeah, okay. Starting to snow. 
he's digging deep right now. I know I keep kind of pushing him and pushing him. I can't probably give him a whole lot of love right now. He's probably cursing me a bit, but I think in the end it'll it'll pay off, I hope. He's kind of got to keep going. We know where the sheep are. And I'm proud of him. He's he's a long ways up there now. He just keep on cruising, so. I used to get all kinds of days off school for fishing. It was like fishing holidays. <laughs> Fridays. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> We're just gonna keep on rolling, slow and steady. Eventually we'll get there. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's give her. This is it. Let's go. Let's do it. We're literally a thousand yards away right now. We're gonna walk down here until we can't see them. And then we're gonna cut across. I remember him saying when I was a kid playing hockey and he would always say, you need to work harder than everyone else. You need to be the first one on the ice and the last one to leave. You know, you watch him now and you now it's 72 and he's hiking these mountains, he's, he's hurting. And you can see it. And it's pretty tough to, to watch your dad, you know, suffer. But I know at the end of the day that, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're a five-year-old kid playing hockey or you're a 72-year-old man, that you just still have to suck it up. Kind of a neat thing to be able to say to yourself, nobody's ever tread here before, likely before I came along. It's just a thought process that um, you have time to think about when you're walking and you're huffing and puffing. And... Hit him. You hit him, Dad. You don't. You hit him. Good shot. <laughs> Come on. Oh my God. That did not just happen. I think you died of fright. <laughs> you believe that? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, man. <laughs> that was spectacular. And oh my God. Ram. Why well, take the easy one? I don't want to take him at 100. Why don't we wait till he gets up to 250 and then <laughs> and then hit him on the move? That is an old broomed ram. The other one is beautiful. Yeah. He's tipped out. That ram is the ram to take off this mountain. Well, they're they're waiting for him to get up. I know they they're are. Waiting a long time. It's because he's because he's, he's the leader right there. Well, let's go see him. I look forward to that day when my son is pushing me in the mountains to work harder, to be stronger, and not whine. At 72 years old, still climbing the mountains, I sure hope I'll be there. Holy. Believe in yourself. You have to believe. And as long as you believe, uh, I think uh, no matter what the outcome is, you'll, you'll feel good about yourself and you'll feel good about the hunt. Wow, 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 wow. Nobody can take away memories. The Yukon Fish and Game Association has a ram award Thanks, for the, the oldest person to harvest a legal ram. He won it three years ago at 69. I don't know. I would probably put my money on him that he's in the running for the win again. You know, like it's one of those shots that you, 
you make once in a lifetime. I'm not taking credit for being a great shooter, but obviously I am. <laughs> <laughs> as long as he wants to go, I'll be willing to take him. There's no doubt. He's got as many sheep hunts in him as he wants with me. Now, all you gotta do is cape it out, put it in your pack, and we'll see you back home. <laughs>